Grand rising, grand arrival, grand return. Peace and blessing to the righteous and repentant alike. I am Sophia of the Americana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is Sunday, September the 29th, 2024, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have our sun at six degrees of Libra, our moon is at zero degrees of Virgo, moving closer to our Libra new moon. You can see we have a lot of energy going around. I think the big hot spots for energy today are Pluto, um, which is at 29 degrees of Capricorn. And uh, it's in a, a relation to Saturn. It's in a in conjunct with the moon at zero degrees of Virgo and it's also uh, in a trine energy to Black Moon Lilith which is at 29 degrees of Virgo um, yeah that's a trine so that's where I believe most of the energy is going and then second up of course would be Pallas Athena which has a trine between the north node and the sextile with the south node and also this um, it's at six degrees so it's a quincux with the Chiron so there's a lot of energy pointing at our wisdom Pallas Athena our integration of masculine and feminine and then also our transformation with Pluto a lot of ears are being lent in those directions we do still have or we now have a square between Uranus and the moon so uh, make sure you take your magnesium today if you are one of these people that are affected by Uranus transit and we're in a sextile between Jupiter at 21 degrees of Gemini and Chiron at 21 degrees of Aries. And there's a trine between Mars, which is at 14 degrees of Cancer and Saturn, which is at 14 degrees of Pisces. So as you can see, there's a lot of moving parts. So for a more in-depth look at the astrology, please contact your favorite astrologer. All right, we're on day 27 of the moon cycle, a 26.2 day old moon. This is a waning crescent. We have 8.9% illumination with a moon rise time of 4.27 a.m. and a moon set time of 5.53 p.m. Our moon governor for today is Mzabe. And the 27th head of the moon sphere who informs the spiritual light on all minerals of the earth having an analog connection with the moon and its sphere. Since Mzabe is a marvelous initiator into moon spirituality, the connection with him can be great advantage to the spiritual light. So this guy um, is related to the minerals of the earth having a connection with the moon and its sphere. So basically wisdom and how that wisdom is connected to the moon. So Pallas Athena and um, the transformation, which is Pluto, having all that energy point pointed towards them. This guy can help you make the most of that energy if you acknowledge him. All right, so for our astrotherography, Sun sign decan, we are in two of swords, which is indecision, solutions, and difficulties. This is our intuition card, and this can best be transmuted with the two of wands which is plans travel and new ideas in this position is our elijah card and it's also outside influences through the lens of the eighth house in aries which is no oh i'm wait a minute yeah eighth house in aries which is be active when searching for the truth so again go out there don't be don't just rely on your intuition to get you through at this time now you need to be going out there and getting the proof all things the the most the most high will always prove himself like this is what he does and so now is the time to be going out and gathering the proof all right so we got the exact opposite for our north node decan which is the two of wands <clears throat> and that's plans travel and new ideas and in this position is jezebel um, and outside influences and this can be best transmuted through the two of swords which is indecision solutions and difficulties which is our intuition card through the lens of the first house in Libra which is to find yourself in others and not to look 
find yourself in others and to look for your balance. So again, use your intuition to balance yourself out. Look on the outside of you to verify how these miracles are being done. And then look on the inside of you to balance out that information and to make it compatible with who you are on the inside. All right, so for our Tree of Life yearly progressions and predictions, we are in Venus energy until October the 17th. This is the Eight of Swords, which is overthinking, self-criticism, and entrapment. You can best transmute this through the with the Eight of Wands, which is travel, movement, and communication, through the lens of the Ninth House in Gemini, which is learn how to properly use words and wisdom. So again, communicating the right thing, and not just getting so caught in your head that you never say the thing out loud to the person who needs to hear it. That's something that you should be double and triple checking yourself on at this time. If you enjoy this type of astrology content, please feel free to join us on YouTube where my handle is Sophia Spiritualite. And if you would like to see all of these slides, please check out um, our Schumann Mystery School on Patreon and the link is in the description. Thank you so much for joining us for today's daily transportation report. Peace and blessings and we'll see you tomorrow.